Welcome back to the channel family and another broadcast. Today we are in Yeremiah chapter 30, and a glorious portion of scripture it is too. Um, I was just thinking about the lamb and the lamb's wife, the glory of the father bringing the son to himself and the son's wife, the redeemed, the congregation of whom I'm sure you are part, dear Hirkana. You know, it's a great thing to think of the Lord Jesus Christ, his God and Father, and his wife. Well, that's all that truly is. Of course, there's the holy angels, of course. Um, it's a great thing to contemplate the deeper things of Christianity, friends, to enlarge your hearts and thoughts towards Elohim Yahweh, to grow in understanding and appreciation of your maker, um, to learn more about the Son of God of redemption and salvation. You know, in these scriptures, we very much see many types. We very much see a type of all mankind in Israel. Uh, when it comes to Israel and Judah, uh, the mystery is that the Lord Jesus Christ is Israel, is Yasher El, which is literally the upright God, the God man. Yasher El, the upright God, uh, Yashrael, and then Yah is Ra El, um, Yah is Ra, God is angry, El, God, God is angry, God, Yah is Ra El, and is Ra El, is anger, God, is Ra El, if the only thing men know is confusion, enmity, and strife, then has anger and the curse and the devil become their God, Israel. You see, uh, and is Ra hell is God's fury hell to you, or are you in covenantal and providential benevolent relationship with Elohim Yahweh? So, uh, when you look in scripture at the times, you see Israel that's the son of God, and you see Judah that's all mankind, the fruit of his suffering. Um, the redeemed. So you see, Israel and Judah is a type of Christ and the church, Christ and the congregation, Christ and his bride. Um, so it's a beautiful thing to begin to comprehend more about such things in scripture um, and to understand and learn more of the millennial kingdom and God's thoughts concerning redemption and practical salvation. That which is outward, that which is inward, that which is historic, prophetic, and personal. Now, today's chapter, Yeremiah 30, is a very, very weighty portion of scripture. There it is on the screen, friends. Let's go ahead and read it. The devar that came to Yeremiah from Yahweh, the word that came to Jeremiah from Jehovah, the Lord. Saying, Thus speaketh Yahweh of Elohim Hayashirel, thus speaketh Yahweh, the God of Israel, saying, Write thee in a book all the words that I have spake unto thee. For behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, when I will turn the captivity of my people, Yah Israel, and Yahuyah, saith Yahweh. And I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are the words that Yahuwah has spake concerning Yashirel and concerning Yahudah. For thus saith Yahuwah, we have heard a voice of trembling. Sorry about that, trying to call come in there. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And these are the words that Yahweh has spoken concerning Yashirel and concerning Yahudah. For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, there is fear and no peace. Ask ye now and see, 
whether a male doth travail with child. Where far do I see every man with hands on his lines, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like unto it. It is even the time of Yaakov's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And it shall come to pass in that day, says Yahweh Sebaot, the Lord of armies, I will break his yoke from off your neck, and will burst thine bonds, and strangers shall no more reduce him to servitude. But they shall serve Yahweh their Elohim, the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up to them. And thou, my servant Yahov, Fearest thou not, saith Yahuwah, neither be dismayed, O Yashirel, for behold, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Yahov shall return, and shall be in rest, and at ease, and no one shall make him afraid. For I am with thee, saith Yahuwah, to save thee. For I will to make a full end of all the nations whither I have scattered thee. As of thee will I not make a full end. But I will to correct thee with judgment. And will to not hold thee altogether guiltless. For thus says Yahweh, Thy bruise is incurable. Thy wound is grievous. There is no one to plead thy cause to bind up thy wound thou hast no healing medicines there's nobody to plead your cause or to bind up your wound you have no healing medicines all your limits have forgotten thee they seek thee not for i have smitten thee with the stroke of an enemy with the chastisement of a cruel one for the greatness of thine iniquity, thy sins are manifold. Why criest thou because of thy bruise, thy sorrow is incurable for the greatness of thine iniquity, because thy sins are manifold. I have done these things to thee. Therefore all that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that shall spoil of thee shall be for a spoil. And all they that prey upon thee will I give to be a prey. For I will apply a bandage to thee, and I will heal thee of thine wounds, saith Yahweh, for they have called thee an outcast. This is Zion that no man seeketh after. Thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will turn the captivity of Yahweh's tents and have mercy on his habitations. And the city shall be built upon our own heap and the palace shall be inhabited after the manner thereof. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them and they shall not be diminished and I will honor them and they shall not be small. And their sons shall be as aforetime, and their assemblies shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. Their prince shall be of, of themselves, and their ruler shall proceed from the midst of them, and I will cause of him to approach, and he shall draw near unto me. For who is this that engageth his heart? Draw near unto me, saith Yahweh, and you shall be mine peoples, and I, I will be thine God. And their prince shall be of themselves, and their ruler shall proceed from the midst of them, and I will cause him to approach, and he shall draw near to me. For this, who is this that engageth his heart to draw near to me, saith Yahweh? And thou shalt be mine peoples, and I, I will be your God. 
Behold the tempest of Yahuwah, fury is gone forth, a sweeping storm. It shalt verl down upon the head of the wicked. The fierce anger of Yahovah shall not return until he hath executed and until he hath performed the purposes of his heart. At the end of the days, you shall consider it. Well, friends, we shall be back with the next installment very soon. Um, stay under the blood, in the spirit, stay strong in the scripture. Baruch, Habar, Hashem, Adonai, Elohim, Yahuwah.